Hello guys, uh, my name is Evans and uh, welcome to this uh, video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to continue looking at the October-November 2016 IGCSE ICT paper. In the last video, we were looking at document production and um, in this video, we're starting to, uh, starting to look at um, databases and um, task 3 um, requires us to create um, a database. So the scenario is that they are now going to prepare some reports for the company make sure that all currency values uh, uh, display uh, display the um, pound sign and uh, to two decimal places um, if the pound sign is not available select a different currency sign um, but it should be displayed also to two decimal places okay so that's the scenario that we have so using a student software package import the file n216members.csv and use these uh, field names and data types that we have here okay so let's go ahead and do just that um, so let's go open access okay and create a blank database I'll just call it tutorial and um, say create now I'll close this table so that I have just a blank um, database here now we are supposed to import the file n216members.csv so let's go ahead and do that so go to create uh, rather external data then browse and then go to where you've kept your files so mine uh, should be on the desktop so let me just look for October 2016 and paper 2 and contacts let me just verify that it's contacts we are opening so members not contacts members and open okay so now you go through the normal procedure that you guys probably by now should be familiar with to of importing a CSV file into your database so advanced and then here you can set the properties of um, the different attributes that you have so the property first of all that we need to set is that from member number to gender this everything data type is text so let's just verify that so from member number to gender everything is text and that should be perfect okay so next we need to check that the date has the date format and it should be in this format dd mm and yyyy okay so let's go ahead and check that so the format uh, the date should be here and the format should be DMY okay so make sure that it is on this format not on the other formats okay because D stands for day M for month and Y for year okay so the other thing that you need also to um, to check is that um, you have let me see okay so the other thing that I need to check to verify is uh, this aspect here um, I'll explain later on um, was as I was going through this paper I discovered there was this part where you're supposed to show leading zeros and the setting because the reason I've brought up this because um, this is where you can make that setting so that um, um, access should display a debt which would have is for example a debt such as this one let me just do this a date such as um, this one let's say it's on the fifth okay on the fifth so this is 05 um, of January uh, 2017 okay like that so what's happening is that um, if you don't set uh, the feature that I want to show you uh, in access from here uh, where you need to set the date will be shown something like this okay the date to be shown like this but what we want is the date to be consistent to be shown like this because we have seen that uh, in our records the date is has leading zeros at the beginning there okay so how you do that in access is to make sure that this is checked here leading zeros in dates should be displayed okay so this is very important the other aspect um, that you need to uh, check is this one that fees due is actually logical 
so fees due just scroll down there this one should be logical which is yes or no and then pay method let's find out pay method should be text the other stuff should be text just these two that should be changed but uh, take note of this one also so let's go ahead and import this one so say okay and go ahead next so you notice that the debt has these here but if we didn't put the leading zeros what would have happened if you say remove the leading zeros and say okay what would have happened is that you have these um, nine is going to be shown without a zero the reason it is shown with a zero here is because I already worked through this paper earlier on and I did set access to allow this. I'll show you later on in the video uh, another property where you can by default allow access to do this. But most of you guys, you may not have this um, set. Uh, okay. So just take note of that. Okay. So let me go back here and make sure that um, the leading zeros will be displayed. And then go to next. And then. Um, um, there's nothing to change here so just next and then set the membership uh, the member number uh, field as primary key and set this as primary key okay so next and finish it so your table has been imported and all the dates they have this feature which is very important okay so on your debt um, you can you can you can change the settings on your debt to make sure that they actually reflect the zeros there okay but um i notice also that um fees due is shown as zero and minus one so we go back to design view so that um, fees due you change the format for fees due and make sure that it's going to be yes no okay Other than that, just go ahead and view uh, it in datasheet mode and you'll see that it is yes and no. So let me just make everything fit. Okay. Yeah, I was trying to make <laughs> to see that uh, the fields are uh, somewhat uh, adjusted. Okay. But they seem to be perfectly fine um, it's okay so we save the data okay saving is important because if you don't save the database won't get updated you may enter a record if you don't save the record won't reflect okay so take screenshots evidence showing the field names and data types used in depot insert screenshot into FDS document so let's go ahead and take sc screenshots so we'll go to design view now you'd want to show where it is that this one is the one that is going to be the thing here so what you need to do is to I want to make sure that all the fields are visible mm, I don't know if this is the part here no just undo this I want now my screen resolution is somewhat not allowing me to um, not allowing me to see all the fields at once so I don't know what I'm gonna do let me see maybe what I can do is to um, collapse the ribbon yeah so that it hides on top there and all the fields are visible because I shouldn't take the screenshot when the um, the, the the fields are not visible okay so guys take note of that this is very important now I can get my screenshot from here because all the fields now are now visible and paste them into our evidence documents so scroll down and database view structure and paste them there so next we are going to step 21 using a drop down menu okay format the pay method okay um, the pay method field to restrict data entry to only the following um, entries cash credit card check debit card and pay um, no other entries should be allowed within this field so okay so what we're going to do is to format the pay method as a drop down so how you do that is select the method 
and then go to lookup and then under display control here you select con combo box okay so when you select combo box now where is this source of this data coming from that is going to be displayed in the combo so is it coming from a table or from a query which is not the case the case is that we have been already given a list of this data that is coming we've been given some values where this data is going to come from so what we need to do is to check this one and select value list because we have been given values okay so select value and then we type in the value of what will be given so um, two quotes okay and type in the value of what you have the first one is cash so type in cash and then well we typed outside the code supposed to be cash then separate them with a semicolon like that and then type in another quote um, type in credit card where my type in I'm typing at the very beginning <laughs> let's go there it's supposed to be a credit card here okay credit card and semicolon and then the next one is supposed to be check then debit card and pay m okay so the next one is supposed to be this one then check then debit card and lastly pay m okay so at the end you don't need to put um you don't need to put um the semicolon okay so just this is enough save your database and view it in um, in datasheet mode okay so it was in design view we now view it in datasheet mode now what's going to happen how you know uh, that these values are entered when you put your cursor uh, at uh, here when you click the bottom you see that you have a drop down or a combo box um, as it were okay so this is very important guys this is how you create a combo box in access okay so now let me go back um where am i going <laughs> let me go back to design view and um come here um okay so what we're going to do is to um i thought i heard someone was calling me <laughs> okay so what we're going to do is uh, what I wanted to share or, or to explain is um, how you create this part. The first thing is that you go to lookup and then under display control, make sure that you select uh, combo box. And then when you select combo box, under value list or not under the raw source type, select value. If, if, if the data is going to come from a query, which means you want to list only items that you have extracted from a certain criteria or based on a certain criteria, you can select a query here okay and then you can put in the field where that data is going to appear and uh, usually this is um, um in future um, Mac, um microsoft <laughs> in future coverage you start asking you to create uh, combo boxes based on queries so that you can extract certain data only to display in certain fields so you should be ready for this part as well but it's not something that is difficult um in one of the videos maybe when you just do a lesson i'll probably just uh, show you how you guys can do that okay so then you can go ahead and put in your raw source and um, put in the data the values that you've been given but make sure that they're in quotes because they are strings or they'll be displayed as they appear so they must be in quotes and then they must be separated by semicolons okay so that's fine so now we need to show evidence um since setting to evidence document screenshots to show the drop down menu and how you have limited the entry to these five uh things so two things so we need to show this part we need to show this part so this is combo text so what we need to show is to show this part how we've limited this so this is a screenshot uh, we can take it and uh, paste it there um so this is one and then another one since there are supposed to be two of them the other one is to show evidence of the drop down menu itself so let's go to um, data sheet view save it and we need to click here and get uh, the screenshot like that okay so this one at least it shows that there is a drop down menu here okay so get this one and um, paste it as well here just at the bottom okay so that's perfectly fine um, so let me see how much time I've consumed here. 
Okay. Okay. So let me end on step number 22. Enter the following record into the members table. Okay. So let's do this. Add a new record just at the bottom here. And we're going to add the record. Now, the record is title uh, SW026. Uh, no, that's member number and title Mr. Bradley uh, Holloway uh, 42 born then and whatever, whatever. So I don't know what I should do, um, whether I should print this or what, so that they don't. Uh, um, I need to add a new record and then it needs to be visible okay there you go so the first one is sw026 now you must type them as they appear then you have mr uh, bradley and you have holloway and he lives at 42 boalen and the other detail about him Let's see if we can minimize this. Uh, we can't. <laughs> okay, so let's just say the other one is male. And he's supposed to be 02 slash 02 slash 2015. Okay, that's the date. Um, no, that we've skipped something. <laughs> I hope we didn't flag an error. We've skipped uh, this part. This is supposed to be um d uh, b d two three nine x r and then there we go now mail and it's supposed to be zero two slash zero two slash twenty fifteen then we go for s w and then we go for yes and lastly we select um we select the here from the drop down menu so from the drop down menu is supposed to be by debit card so just select debit card and then save this record if you don't save it it won't reflect in the database so save it okay so that's perfectly fine so check your data for uh, entry errors i won't do that i suppose i've, I've done that I've entered it correctly and save the data we've just done that okay so i'll end here uh, on this um on this um uh, step number 22 and in the next video we'll look, speak it up from step number 23 and uh, we'll see how far we can go with that so thank you so much for watching this video and uh, i'll see you in the next video shortly